Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Even though we are nearing spring, I am still full turtlenecked. It is today's high is like 10. We're supposed to get like a foot of snow today. So spring is around the corner, but it is still very much winter here in Indiana. So now is a good time since I am, you know, I can't even really get out and walk much because of snow and cold. Now is a good time to do another unboxing. So today I have a short story unboxing, which is a style service for us petites. Yay! So about 5'4 and shorter. And I love this service because I love getting clothes that fit with me style wise. It vibes with me. If you're not familiar with it, it's like, uh, it's similar to the other styling services again, but that it's petite. There's a $25 styling fee that does get applied to anything you purchase. You're filling out a style survey. A stylist picks you out some items that, you know, fits within their understanding of your style. You keep what you like, send back what you don't like, and they only charge you for what you keep. <sighs> and if you would like to try the service, I do have a referral link below for you to try the service with the styling fee weight. And there you go. So let's see if I missed out and you have five days to decide what you keep and like i said send back what you don't want to keep and there is a mailer so that you can do that easily so let's go ahead dive right in okay so i see some fun colors in here so let's just dive right in first off oh this is like an activewear top do they know i've been hiking uh this is by j ing J Ing, not familiar, bold and romantic, beyond trend. Anyways, this is a great activewear top, cropped. Oh, I love this, and I love this color, kind of this, it's, it's a deeper than a lavender. I don't know what to call this purple color, but I really like it, and I am excited to try it on. I think it's super, super cute. So, so far, winner. Next, we have by Petite Principal, we have a v-neck blouse, and again, green's my favorite color. This is a very interesting tone of green, and I'm I'm interested in it, and I like this top. This is a cute top. It's thicker than a lot of other blouses I get, so that's a plus, and so maybe a keeper so that I do have a couple blouses to layer under cardigans and blazers when I eventually maybe someday go back to work. Then we have by Petite Principal, we've got the uh, cross front bodysuit here, rat front bodysuit here. I think I bought one of these off of them in maybe black, so this is a nice plum color one. So very cool. Mmm, what's this? Is this a jumpsuit? I'm all about jumpsuit guides. Okay, again Petite Principal a three-quarter sleeve tie waist with pockets jumpsuit and I don't have any non-summary jumpsuits mine are all sleeveless so or maybe short sleeve as well but anyways I don't have anything that's more of a cold weather type jumpsuit so very interested in that piece and then finally we have by Liverpool this is the new revolutionary pull-on Oh, so it looks like a regular button front, but it is a pull-on. And who doesn't love a good pull-on? Raw hem here at the bottom. Feels like it has decent stretch. Pull-ons can be great or not great. We'll see. So this is a petite pair. So I really like this box. Some fun pieces. And I'm excited to try them on. So let's get to it. Okay, I have three of the five pieces on right now and let's start at the top so i am just kind of in love with this jacket and if you watch my last ellie i guess i'll put a card up here for it i got like a black floral legging and i feel like this active wear top would pair perfectly with it so it's a nice and snug top which is kind of what you want in an active wear type top i love the crop aspect of it and i just think it's super 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 cute thumb holes in it which i like these are pockets here and i like that it is kind of like i said snug and kind of a i like this collar here so super super cute i like this 
a lot so you guys can see the back because there was some cool seamage. Okay, now that's that piece. Love it. Next up, we have the bodysuit. Like I said, I definitely kept like the black one of these. I like it. I just don't know that I'm like so in love with the style that I want multiple of it in different colors. So I doubt this one will be a keeper for me, but it's a nice top and I kind of like a bodysuit. The pants, I really like them. There's, there's one, one thing that makes them not perfect and that is they're more of a mid-rise than a high-rise so my belly button's up here and I feel it more kind of here in the back being mid-rise it just don't feel like it's going as high as I want it to go and I know that is a challenge with pull-on pants to get like a good waistline on it but they're super comfy perfect length if you see that um, good great fit really really great fit just Wish it was just a little bit higher. So I don't know. This might, one might depend on price. They're Liverpool, so that might be a little bit easier to part with because they do tend to be a little bit more expensive. So, all right, next piece. Okay, here we go with the blouse. And again, I like the color. It's really great quality. It is thicker for a blouse, especially kind of in the bodice area. Sleeves aren't quite as thick. Um, you know, I always have issues with blouses, sleeve length being way too long. These are good length, like, maybe even a tad short, but that's okay because most likely I'm throwing blazers and cardigans over this. So um, I like it. Here's a close up of it. Good fit here. The back, it does have a little clasp, but it was actually really hard to get open, so I just gave up. There's a big enough headroom, I could just shove my head through it. So. I think this one will depend on price because I like it. I'm not like super, super excited about it, but it's different. I would like a few blouses, which I did realize in my closet clean out series that it's like I have like no blouses. I think I'm down to like two blouses. So it would be nice to have this in my repertoire. So yeah, we'll just kind of see what this costs. Now, jumpsuit time. Okay, here we go. So when I first put the jumpsuit on, it was like, no, no, absolutely not. I'm not into it. And then I kind of got everything in place. I tightened the waist up and then it was like, crap, I think I love it. So put on some red heels with it to, you know, give it a pop of color as I would with a jumpsuit like this. So it's a really great fit. You know, it's a three quarter sleeve. I do like Having a jumpsuit that's a little bit for cooler weather. Pockets, pant length is obviously perfect as well. And nothing is too snug. I'll say I've got a smidge of extra room here, but I don't really, I don't feel like I'm at risk of like blowing open, I guess you could say. So while I could stand to fill this out more, I think it, I think it works just fine. It doesn't seem to be too low, it's not too bad. So, I kind of love it. I could throw this on, go into the office, you know, throw a blazer on over this. It could be super cute. I'm going to do that. Let me go grab a blazer. I probably should have grabbed a shorter blazer, which I still might grab another one just because I'm feeling it. It's not often that I grab stuff out of my closet because I'm lazy when I film these. So, but uh, this is a longer blazer. There you go. Uh, all right, one more. I should have changed my shoes, but I didn't. So just ignore my feet right now. But here it is with a berry colored blazer, kind of a shorter look to it. So I don't know, what do we think? I think the fact that I wanted to immediately style it tells me that probably this one's a keeper for me. My husband was like, Jen, when I told you I like jumpsuits, that didn't mean I like exclusively jumpsuits because I went hard into jumpsuits, but I'm still into them, man. I really am, so, all right. Enough about jumpsuits, let's go over prices and decide what to keep. I'll say right off the bat here that I really liked everything. If, if I had unlimited money, I think I would keep everything, but I don't have unlimited money, so I am just going to keep my very, very favorites, but I liked everything, a lot, so, okay. By, by J.ing, we have the movement zip up track jacket. 
$62 and I really like it. This is super, super cute. This will definitely get used in my, you know, walks and hikes and stuff like that. So keeping that. Then we have by Petite Principal. This is the Cali Wrap Tie Waist Pocket Jumpsuit. It is $58 and as you guys saw, I was like already wanting to style it and stuff like that. So I think that one's a keeper as well. Then we have the Penelope Surplus Modal Bodysuit by Petite Principal, $52. I liked it. I already have one in black and I don't know that I would have paid $52 for it anyways. Then we have the Harlow V-neck blouse by Petite Principal and it is $38 and it's cute. I could definitely use more blouses like this, but I'm spending my budget on the other the other pieces and that's okay. I just don't get that excited about blouses, but if I did, that would be a keeper. Then by Liverpool, we have the Petite Gia Glider Jeans. These are $86 and these, I really, really, really like these. They're just not perfect enough to keep. If they had just been a little bit higher and a little bit more snug around the waist, would have been perfection. Other than that, they're really, really cute jeans. I like the wash, the length, the pull on. I like it all. So uh, the total for the entire box is $271. Um, and reminder that there is the credit for the $25 styling fee. So that is it. That is my box. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. I always love this service and the pieces they get me. This is the only place where I get petite principal and it seems and I'm just extremely happy with them. Again, if you are interested in trying them, I do have a referral link below for you to give them a whirl and I think they waive your first styling fee. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, then please subscribe below. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. Okay.